Hi guys and dolls, Michelle back with another video. Today, I use this as my inspiration. And I tried, I tried to do my own take on it. I did do my own take on it. Um, is it as great as I would hope? No, but I'm trying, I'm trying. And that's half the battle. You have to put brush to nail or you'll never do anything, right? So I'm trying to get better at freehand. And to be quite honest, I'm quite happy with it. My husband looked at it and said, what is that, a frog? I wanted to smack him upside the head, but I didn't because I love him and he's blind. <laughs> but it was, it was it's tiny. It's on a little nail, so he couldn't see it very well. But yeah, so I did the sky with uh my homemade alcohol ink i was gonna try the whole thing with homemade alcohol ink but that went kind of sideways so i just ditched that and just did the sky so i'm using black 1613 i think it is or 1610 from venalisa and a red from canny a green two greens and a yellow 1609 from venalisa green six oh four from canny and six oh one from canny I do believe that's all the painting gels and this brown from MT S S I or something like that and pearl white from Venalisa uh, those the pearl white I just kind of highlighted a little bit to make it look like it was snow banks or something or drifts in the snow I tried <laughs> like I said I tried but I, I am I'm really happy with them Normally I get so frustrated when I'm when I'm doing something like this that I just I give up on it and walk away, but I did it all in one go this time. Yes, I did. Really really happy with it. I'm I'm happier with the tree than I am with the bird, but the cardinal looks kind of cute too. If you don't look too closely, now you know. So I just gave that a quick flash cure. And now we will go in with that brown from MTSSII. I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> just going to draw a tree on the side of the nail. First I was going to put roots and then I thought, wait a minute, it's supposed to be covered in snow. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> the roots won't show in the winter time. That's just a detailer brush that I got off Amazon, I think. And like I said... For the first first go at it, I'm really, really, really happy with it. I really am. Normally, when I try freehand, I really don't like it. But I like this. Because, let's face it, if it's on your nail, nobody's putting it up, you know, two inches from their face to see the details. They just look at it and see some kind of design and think, oh, that's cute. And it is. It's cute. Just loading up the brush, making the little branches, little squiggly lines. I just did the one nail because, you know, let's be honest, this one took me long enough. This is all in real time, by the way. The only thing I've cut out, the only thing I've edited out is the flash cure and, and the full cure at the end. That's the only thing I've edited out. So the whole thing took me 
gosh, almost 25 minutes, actually. I lost it on the thing and had to touch it up. So now I'm just putting in some highlights in the trees, some black, black highlights, so it doesn't look like a uniform brown tree trunk, just to give it a little bit of visual interest. Let's say... And that's just an old gel brush. That came from AliExpress. That's really, it's it's old. And this is one of the greens from Benelisa. I'm going to put some little boughs, leaves, whatever you want to call them. Just a few little leaves on there. Just to give it some greenery. It's not a lot. But I think it adds a little something something to it. And when I'm done with those, I'll use the lighter green to highlight. And it's not it's not really too visible on camera, but in person I can see the different green on camera. Like I said, it's not that visible. But in person, I can see it. Yep, just little little sprigs here and there. And a little flash cure. And that's what I've been doing all along. Just a little flash cure in between. That's uh, my little flashlight. LED flashlight. UV LED flashlight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, as I said, in with the lighter green to highlight those little sprigs. I'm trying to push my own boundaries is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to try new things to, I want to feel more comfortable when I'm hand, free handing. Um... I haven't done anything extravagant yet, but maybe I'll get there one day. Maybe not extravagant, but a little more, a little more involved than a tree and a cardinal, you know. But everything takes time, right? Practice makes perfect. Or at least makes it better. <laughs> I use that photo as a guide, but this was, and the, and the bird is not big. I think that may have been a factor in how hard I found it to do because it's, it's really tiny and that kind of, and that's the tail feathers and there's the body. It was really, really difficult because this is the smallest brush that I have. I may have to cut some bristles off of the brush just to make it tinier because that's the smallest one I have. And I know if you use more pressure, you get a thicker line, less pressure, you get a thinner line. But trust me, I was barely touching the nail with this and I couldn't get a really nice thin line out of this brush and all I, I use that brush for every color and in between you just clean it with a bit of top coat and that's all so now another flash cure five ten seconds that's all it needs with a little flashlight sorry about the jiggling Now the yellow for the little beak. And I do mean little. It is very little. It's basically a dab of paint. <laughs> it's not, 
I tried to move it around to make it into kind of a triangle, but it's so tiny. That's basically just a little dab of paint. And I'm going to fill in the body again. I did give that a full cure because I want to put more paint on the body of the bird. A little red cardinal. We have them here in the winter time. They're just well, not in the, only in the winter, in the in the rest of the year too, and they are gorgeous. Drives my cat crazy when they land on the eaves trough on the porch, and she can see them. It's kind of funny, actually. She thinks she's the bird whisperer, right? She'll meow at them and make weird sounds. <laughs> Uh, and there we're, we are almost done we're just a couple of minutes away and that's it I made a little mistake with the bird I, I kind of put a black collar on him when all I really needed to do was put black around the beak area but I gave him kind of a black collar I wasn't paying close enough attention I guess to the photo but that's okay. I still, I think it's cute. I really do. So that goes in for a cure. The little eyeball. Now I decide to put more paint on the body. I know it's not like readily apparent that it's a cardinal, but I wanted to give the impression that it was a cardinal. And now top coat. <laughs> top coat, this bad boy with a Venalisa no wipe top coat. And that is pretty close to the end of video. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Enjoyed hanging out with me today. And if you, th if you did, Please give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.